Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I hope everybody's having a great day today, but if not, hopefully we can change that by the end of this video. This is actually going to be part two to a video that I posted a couple months ago where I shared underrated products from five of the most well-loved affordable skincare brands. You guys really enjoyed that the first time around, asked for a part two, so that is exactly what we're gonna do here today. Same thing, same brands, including CeraVe, Cetaphil, The Ordinary, Good Molecules, and The Inky List, but of course, with five different products. So if you love these brands as much as I do, and you're interested in discovering some new products from them that you maybe haven't tried before, you've come to the right spot. We're gonna jump right into that. But before we do, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and drop a comment below letting us know what your favorite product from one of these five brands is. Thank you so much for doing all of those things. It really does help to support me so much with the algorithm. So I appreciate you more than you know. And if you need anything from me at all, it's always listed in my description box below, including Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, my merch, which I'm actually wearing right now. You just can't tell when my hair is covering it up. Instagram and TikTok handles, discount codes, timestamps, links, and anything else you could think of. So that is everything. Let's jump into this video. All right, let's start off with CeraVe first. This is arguably the most underrated product in this entire video. I love it so much. I feel like nobody ever talks about it and it seriously deserves so much hype because it's very difficult to find a drugstore sunscreen that does what this does. So this is called their Ultralight Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen. It's a broad spectrum SPF 30 and it has chemical filters. So the active ingredients are avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octocrylene. Definitely can be a deal breaker for those that have very sensitive skin as sensitive skin types can often be irritated by chemical filters. I will say that I personally have very sensitive skin and this has never caused issue for me. So of course I wouldn't be including it and raving about it if this irritated my skin, but those filters, while yes, they can be problematic for some, are the reason why this formula is so, so incredible which we'll get to in a second. As far as other ingredient highlights goes, I would say we just have your typical skin loving ingredients that you will find in all CeraVe products. So things like ceramides and hyaluronic acid. So not only are we protecting our skin from the sun with this product, but we're also helping to replenish and hydrate as well. Okay, now back to the formula, which is really why I included this in this video. Like I was saying, it's so difficult to find a really, really nice drugstore sunscreen that checks all of the boxes that this sunscreen does. It honestly, I feel like you can't beat it. So. It's very lightweight, it blends into the skin very easily, it doesn't pill, it doesn't streak, it dries down really quickly, it's not sticky, it's not greasy, it has absolutely no white cast, and it has such a beautiful natural skin-like finish. The label does call it a matte finish. I would say that on my skin, which is combination leaning oily, it doesn't look matte on me in a dry or flat way, it just, it kind of disappears into my skin and lets my natural skin type shine through, but not in a greasy or oily way like so many other sunscreens. So if you have oily skin or you just struggle to find a sunscreen that doesn't look shiny on you, doesn't make you look oilier throughout the day, you have to try this. You will be obsessed with it. Of course, my one major complaint about this is that it's an SPF 30 and not an SPF 50. You guys know I definitely do prefer SPF 50 just for that max sunscreen protection, but I know that for some people, they're just trying to find a sunscreen that's easy to use in their everyday skincare routine and doesn't cause issue for them. So in that case, SPF 30 is so much better than no SPF at all. And when I think about other SPF 30 options from the drugstore, even the other SPF 30 from CeraVe, which I believe is their mineral option, that one is so much thicker, it's pastier, it has a very apparent white cast. That's a no-go for so many people, myself included. And that is where this one definitely shines through. So if you're looking for a no hassle, no fuss, very easy to use sunscreen, that's not gonna, you know, do gross things on the skin like so many do, unfortunately. If you have oily skin, dark skin, you have to try this and keep me posted on your thoughts after you do. All right, next up is Cetaphil. And this is a product that I've talked about one other time on my channel before in a video where I share drugstore products Products that feel high end. If you haven't seen that yet, I will list that below. But this is called their Gentle Clear Mattifying Acne Moisturizer. And it's so, so impressive. And I feel like nobody's talking about this. It is a newer launch. So on the one hand, I understand why I wouldn't have as much hype as other products but it's been out I think since July-ish, which I feel like is plenty of time for this to gain the traction that it deserves, which I just don't think it really has. So this is called a salicylic acid acne treatment because it has 0.5% salicylic acid in it. I did talk about this in that previous video, but I actually like that it only has 0.5% salicylic acid. That's not the highest amount that you will find in skincare products, but if you happen to already be using, let's say a cleanser or a serum that has salicylic acid, then hopefully adding this to your routine 
won't cause further irritation because of course using really really high concentrations of acids or too many products with high amounts of acids definitely increases the potential for skin irritation so I like that we're still going to get help in the pore clogging department if you have blackheads whiteheads if you have texture dark spots and salicylic acid can be really helpful with that but the reason why I love this is because I feel like it has all of these amazing helper ingredients, if you will, that complement salicylic acid so nicely and really do make this an amazing option for anybody that suffers from acne, irritation, inflammation, dark spots, or all of the above. This has several ingredients in it that will help to protect the skin, including things like alpha-glucan oligosaccharide and zinc gluconate, which is also just an incredible ingredient for acne-prone skin because it helps to promote wound healing on top of being antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. Other calming and soothing ingredients include things like bisabolol and olantoin. This has brightening ingredients like kojic acid and licorice root, and it just has some awesome moisturizing and hydrating ingredients like squalane and hyaluronic acid as well. So ingredients list is honestly stacked so impressive for the drugstore and this formula is perfect for the type of product that this is as well because it's lightweight it's kind of like a hybrid between a gel and a cream not greasy not shiny another that actually claims to be matte but I don't think looks dry on the skin similar to that CeraVe sunscreen it just kind of settles down naturally but leaves my skin feeling hydrated and moisturized all day so perfect daytime moisturizer works so well under makeup I cannot recommend this enough if you do suffer from clogged pores, I think you're gonna be in love. All right, now for The Ordinary. The product that I wanted to highlight is their Buffet Plus Copper Peptides at 1% everybody knows about their original buffet serum people are obsessed with that for a good reason that definitely deserves the hype that it has but this i feel doesn't get talked about as much even though this is so so impressive so this has a copper peptide complex in it and if you're not familiar with copper peptides they are amazing kind of multi-benefit anti-aging ingredients because they can help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles stimulate collagen and elastin production they can help to reduce the appearance of dark spots promote wound healing they're anti-inflammatory they have antioxidant benefit they are so so impressive so that is one of the reasons why this is such an incredible product but then on top of that it has all of these other amazing ingredients as well and honestly there's so many that I can't list them all off but I would say some of the more impressive of those ingredients include other forms of peptides that can help to replenish the skin help with further anti-aging benefits amino acids sodium hyaluronate sodium PCA so just so many replenishing hydrating anti-aging amazing ingredients in this I will say there are a couple interesting elements to this formula that I wanted to quickly point out. The first being that, of course, as you guys can see, it's blue. So don't be freaked out by that if you haven't used this yet. It's not going to make your skin look blue in any way, shape, or form. It is supposed to have that color. So that's not something that is a downside. I just wanted to point that out. The thing that is a little bit of a downside with this is the smell. It's very, very pungent. It's not something that for me, I can continue to smell throughout the day. But when I apply it when you open the bottle it's like whew, it's a very pungent kind of bitter smell so just be aware of that but that's really the only thing that I don't love about this product because the feel of the formula is really really nice and I don't have any of the issues that I sometimes have with other products from the ordinary like them being sticky or pilling easily I don't have those problems with this product it feels nice and hydrating at first and it does fully fully dry down on my skin so it's not something that feels oily or greasy or makes me look that way it's not drying or tight it just kind of again we have a theme here like the other two products disappears and then I can apply my moisturizer on top and my sunscreen on top of that no problem so if you've been on the lookout for an anti-aging product that has a lot of amazing ingredients in one then I would definitely recommend checking this one out especially because it's so affordable it really is the type of product that's going to give you the potential to see really really impressive results okay let's move on to the inky list next the product that I want to share is called their brighten eye eye cream and I think that this is underrated because of the fact that it's an eye cream we all know at this point you don't need to add a separate eye cream to your skincare routine you can absolutely just use your moisturizer apply that around the eyes there's no reason to buy something like this except for I think that there is in this situation I've always been a fan of eye creams because I prefer different formulas around the eye area than I do on my entire face so for me it makes sense for me to have a separate product but the reason why this one is extra special to me is because it's something that actually does help to brighten and illuminate the under eye area so if you're somebody that has dark circles veins around your eyes that you're trying to brighten but you still don't want to wear makeup you don't want to 
apply concealer, then this is the perfect type of product to use because it really does give you this pretty luminous okay luminance under the eyes without it being a makeup product so this does have an ingredient called brightenol in it and that can help to brighten an even skin tone over time but it also has these pearlescent pigments in it that are going to help to instantly give you that brightness and luminance so while that could be a nice added benefit i'm really using it for that instant illumination and the formula is perfect for daytime because it's very hydrating and replenishing but in a lightweight way it has a nice soft silky feel to it and it also has this metal tip applicator which makes application feel so so refreshing and cooling perfect if you have puffy eyes in the morning it just feels so good and then plus of course you're getting that brightening benefit so if you have dark circles like me you get a little bit of eye puffiness after a weekend where you maybe had too many cocktails then something like this is the ultimate monday morning eye cream i really do love this so much all right last but not least we have the product that i want to include from good molecules and that product is their instant cleansing balm so this does have some really nice ingredients to help to soften and condition the skin so things like shea butter sea buckthorn oil green tea oil vitamin e Obviously, when we're using this to remove makeup, we're not going to be reaping the benefits of those ingredients in the same way that we would with a leave-on product, but wanted to make sure I was mentioning that and the fact that, of course, it's fragrance and essential oil-free like everything else in this video, which is amazing because so many other cleansing balms are not. Again, when it's a rinse off product, something like that is not nearly as concerning to me as a leave on product for the potential for irritation, but still some people just have such sensitive skin like myself that they have to be really, really careful of those ingredients. So if that's you, here you go, fragrance and essential oil free. But the real reason I love this so much is because of the formula. It's so soft and creamy. And yeah, at first it's kind of like, what is this? It's thick, how do you work with it? But it melts down essentially instantly and completely breaks up my makeup without me even having to try. Love it for that reason. It doesn't feel waxy or greasy or really heavy. I've definitely tried cleansing balms and oils before that feel that way and I just, I can't get behind it. So I really love that about this. It just melts everything away. It rinses away really easily as well, which is also something that I've struggled with recently with different oil cleansers that I've tried or balms. Some melt down the makeup, but then they kind of cling to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? And it's kind of hard to rinse it away with water and I end up needing a microfiber towel to fully get rid of everything, but this, I don't need that water and it just slips right off and as an added benefit i feel like my skin always feels extra soft after i use this so if you have been on the hunt for a really effective affordable cleansing balm good molecules instant cleansing balm look no further all right you guys we have made it to the end of this video i really hope that you found this helpful and had fun hanging out with me today let me know in the comments below if you decide to pick up any of the products that i talked about as always everything is listed in my description box below in order of mention so it's nice and easy for you to find but keep me posted on anything that you pick up do you already use some of these products what are your thoughts do they work well for you is there anything else that you feel is underrated from any of these brands or maybe other brands if i do a part three i could do other brands keep me posted on whatever you guys would like to see next i would love to do that for you and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend thank you again so so much for doing all of those things your support means the world stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days but until then I hope you have a great few days.